Okay, so let's attempt to use our uh, butane structure here and draw an energy diagram of all of the structures of butane, okay? So we'll start at the very high energy, what did we call this, the, you guys remember? Sin periplanar, right? Okay, we'll start, start at the very high energy sin periplanar.
hydrogen there, and the other hydrogen there. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, so this we just called eclipsed. Yeah, so let's let's look at the this guy here, okay? So we started here, right? And then we moved to here, there, and now we did to there. Okay, do you see so you see these are eclipsed, this one and this one are eclipsed here. Do you see that? It's still higher than the the energy is still higher than the gauche. The yes, one? yeah, so it goes up and down, okay? Like that, you see? Okay. If you need to, come up after the thing and look at it, okay? So then what happens? Then we're going to turn it what? 60 more degrees, and what's that going to be called? The anti-periplanar, right? That's going to be high or low in energy? Very low, very low, right? So let's draw that one. So down to 180 degrees now. So let's put a little degrees. Okay. So very low in energy now. So this one here is called a staggered one, and we called it also anti peri -planar. And that, uh, that second eclipse, there's no gauche or nothing to it? Well, remember, the gauche interaction is when two big groups are 60 degrees apart from each other. So you can't have a gauche on an eclipse. Okay. So is everybody okay to where we've gone so far? Okay, wonderful. Now, if we turned it another 60 degrees, what would we get to? Something that looked like something else up here? The yeah. So we would get back, so if we turned it, wait, well first we've got to turn it to 60, right? So what would we get to? This guy again, right? Except the methyl group would be on this side. Okay, so let's do that. So that would be what? 240. So this we call eclipsed. It's looking at, it's supposed to be the same height as this one, but it's hard to do that on a huge point. Then we'll turn it again, right? To what? 300. And what will we get here? A gauche form. Yeah, very good. So, um, so that goes on. So we're going to have this one, right? So this is called staggered. Are 60 degrees away from each other. 60 degrees away from carbon groups or just? Big groups. Okay? Big groups. So right now in, in butane, all we've got is methyl groups. But if you had an iodine instead of a methyl group, that would be bigger than a hydrogen. Okay? It's just when the big groups are 60 degrees from each other. And then the last one, 360, what would we get back to? An eclipse, but more importantly, the Sin periplanar, so it's going to be way up at the top. 
and then I would put it way up there. So it's going to be the exact same one as over there. This one's going to be, of course, eclipsed and sin very flat. So you can kind of see a graph going like this. You see that? Okay. So let's. See that? So that's the whole of the rotation. So this is the rotational energy graph for butane. Okay? So um, be sure to be able to reproduce something like this. Okay? For ethane, it's much easier. It's just going to go staggered, uh, staggered eclipse, staggered eclipse, staggered eclipse, staggered eclipse. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can come to office hours and we can do that one too. But this one's a little more intense, so I thought I'd do this one. Any questions before we kill this video? Okay, wonderful.